My name is Elizabeth Papish. I'm a chemistry professor at the University of Alabama. My group does catalysis, and we're at the intersection of organic and inorganic catalysis. I'm really interested in using catalysts and making catalysts to store energy in fuels, preferably liquid fuels, since that's convenient for transportation. Uh, we also have uh, an anti-cancer project where we're making ruthenium compounds for um, for anti-cancer properties, we believe that they can be uh, selectively toxic towards cancer cells. A student of mine came down with cancer, so we started reading and thinking a lot more about it and reading more papers on it. And we realized that one of the compounds that we were making actually looked a lot like um, an anti-cancer uh, compound that was in the literature. So we've um, we've been exploring that and um, making analogs that are um, pH sensitive to hopefully take advantage of the, uh, the low pH in cancer cells. My name is Katie Kuykendall. I'm an undergraduate senior um, biochemistry major and I work in the lab of Dr. John Vincent. Right now I'm actually working on a copper study. So we're looking at copper oxidation states in artificial gastric and intestinal fluid. The overall goal is to determine whether the species of copper that you eat actually causes or does not cause Alzheimer's. Boys are pushed to pursue the flowery paths of science. There should be more opportunities for girls inside the public education system because I feel like at a young age that's where you're really getting most of your development from. This is the copper one oxidation state here and you can definitely see that we have two different species. My passion, something that I would really like to get into, is actually going to public schools and doing science demonstrations with classes. I think it's so vitally important to expose young women to science, engineering, math at a very early age. Uh, what I'll be showing you today is a CW experiment on one of our X-bands. And a CW stands for Continuous Wave. My name is Molly Lockhart, and I'm a second year PhD student in the chemistry department. And so I have a sample in here. The sample is a triddle by radical, so it has two unpaired electrons. And what I will be doing is just running a basic CW field sweep EPR experiment. So I research cytochrome P450 enzymes, and cytochrome P450s are ubiquitous to life. They exist in almost living, every living organism. And there are three main binding modes that cytochrome P450s go through to bind to drugs. Um, they metabolize almost 90% of the drugs on the market today, so they're very important when you consider drug development design. Uh, one thing that's always bothered me about medications and treatments is that if you really dig down and you start learning about how they work, usually what you run into is unknown. They'll say, you know, the mechanism of action is unknown, or it's not clear why this drug works in this treatment, but it passed clinical trials because it worked in rats. And so I really, I would be fulfilled if for the rest of my life I got up every day and I could just kind of help figure out a little bit about what that unknown is and, and what that mechanism is. And as a girl, it's important to remember that although you may not have been told you could do those things as a kid or that might not have presented itself as an opportunity, go for it anyways. You know, if you like science, if you like math, if biology is your favorite class, stick with it. And even if you're defeated by those classes, I got my first C in undergrad in biochem, and I thought I would be done with biochemistry. I would never do that again. I hated it. And then I chose to go that route, and that's what I'm concentrating in now because I want to defeat it. You know, it defeated me once, and I want to go back and, and get it.